Well guys, I'm back home again now for the winter. Well, for about three, four weeks and I'm back down for the next tides. But um, thank God I've been waiting to try me uh, singer out. Last time I was home I put a motor on it because the um, belt was playing up. But she's working a treat now. Anyway, the dock car, the new boat I bought, had two cells on it. And both of them were lovely condition all the way down to where they go on the boom. Over the years, especially the one that was on there, the other one there. Oh, sorry, this one. The bottom half where it was wrapped around the boom was total wrecked. And it's been put patches on so many times it is knackered. The bottom half is just total. But from there up, the cell's pretty good. So what I've done, I've cut the strip off the bottom here. And the corner there. I've got the corner. Now I'm going to cut it along that line there now. Which will shorten the cell and give me a, what I call a smaller cell because they're both the same size. So I need a smaller cell because you have bad weather on, as you would have seen if you was watching me out in the Atlantic getting Coast Guard pulling me in. Anyway, so that whole strip now in the middle is going to be slung because that's the worst of it. This, anyway, this piece here has now got to be joined back onto there because the bottom of the cell, because I've cut it up, is going to be like four inches shorter. So I've got to bring this over and make that join together at this point here. So as this, this rope will still go inside the um, boom. And then I'm going to split that apart because there's two of these. That, that's one either side. I'm going to cut the stitching on that so that I go over either side of that one. So I can get a nice solid corner. I've still got all the solid corner. So um, this end, same. Where I've cut this... All this is, is um, just a double seam with a piece sewn over. So what I've done, I've cut it like that. And the bottom, I've cut like that. So they'll overlap. So that'll give me the strength back in that. And this whole piece then is gone. Because that's the rotten bit. But now my cell will be... If I had to reef the cell, it would have reefed down to there. But by the time I've sewn this cell back on now, overlapped it. Because this will overlap that. That will overlap this. The cell's going to be about down to about here. So um, it's more or less the size for a reef in cell. So I'll have the main small cell. And hopefully it'll help me with the um, bad web realm I get. But the other cell's got no markings on it. The other cell's got its registration. But I don't know whether it's my boat or what. But I cannot buy a cell because my boat is the dock rod. It was only about a thousand made. The boom is in the middle of the boat, not forward like most boats. So it's going to be in like 12 foot boom, it's just a 7 foot boom. And I cannot get a cell with a 7 foot boom. So the other way is get a bigger cell and cut it that way to make it fit. But this is the way to do it for now. Well, I've cut the bottom one to length now. As you can see it's more of a straight length there. And it's shorter here. Because it's shorter obviously because I've cut it. But this one now is stuck over, ready for sewing. So that's the whole bottom done. Okay, so there's the bottom cell joined on. I might put some more stitches that way. Make it, but I should put it's more than strong enough by the time it's sewn over the other cell. But there's the other bit now that's all ready to be sewn on to the bottom of the other cell that I've already cut. So that's the bottom for what's going to be the smaller cell. And as I say, I've got to marry it up to this now. So it's just a matter of sticking it on and then putting some heat on it and on my way with the mixer, fingers crossed. Okay, so that, now there's the bit I've just sewed. There and that bit. Now that bit now has been stuck down with double-sided tape to the cell. So now once that's sewn, I can then start putting this bit along the bottom of the cell and restitching it. Anyway, once that's stitched now, I'm not going to fully stitch it, I'm just going to stitch it so it stays in place. Because I've still got alterations, I've got this double cylinder there at the moment. Because one's got to be cut off, so um, we're getting there. Okay, we're on the winner. Get it in the machine. The air dryer is because the double sided tape is... um too cold and not really sticking so if you warm it up it sticks like shit to a blanket 
Anyway, let's get it on the machine and get it going. Well, there you go. That one's sewed on, roughly. It's still got to be cleaned up, edges cut, and, and zigzag for strength. Those, those are the original um, cell. These are mine. So, I get this along here now and stuck on. So, I'll lay it on the floor and get, do this in stages until that's all padded on. Then I can sew the whole thing in one go. But in the meantime, just do what I can. I, I decided to cut those horrible stained patches off. So now the cell got a couple of little tears in it, but I'll stitch all that in anyway, so it's not a problem. And um, I've just got the first bit now ready to warm up with the air dryer and stick that bit on and do it in stages. is ready to put down in place Okay, I've done halfway along now, and now I've got to get this bit up and over and on, so if that end lines up nicely on that, because that's the strength in this one, really, the ends. But um, it's nerve wracking. I'm gonna, I'm getting that as flat as I can, so this matches, and this is as flat as it go. So when it's on, it should be right with the cell as it was preformed, and then once I'm done. I can cut all these edges back and stitch them proper top here. I can double that and stitch it so it's all solid. Okay, so I've sewn that's all fixed in place now. That didn't look brilliant there, but I should put some stitches closer to that when I finish. But that's on there now, all the way down through, all reinforced in the right places. Now, all I'm left to do is to cut. Which one I'm going to keep, I'm not sure yet. It didn't really matter, but this is the one with the tang on. And then I've got to cut the bottom and fold that back and get a nice neat stitch all along there. So I'll do that after tea. There you go, that's the bottom stitch there. All the way along. And it's pretty flat till here. Now all this needs doing now is, I've got two there, as you know, two fronts up to that point there. I gotta cut the one off and sew it there and then zigzag this and strengthen that. Okay, so after another day of uh well another hour of sewing today, I had to come back out last night I couldn't get the machine to sew. I was sewing about eight layers of canvas. Four like that, four on one and four on the other. And the 
thread kept breaking. And what it was, I split a bit of a plastic membrane inside of one of the cells. When the needle was going in, as it was coming back, it was putting up and latching around the needle. But I've sorted that now, problem done. So there's the cell finished. Anybody watched my last video where I got caught in the storm and got brought in by the lifeboats, you'll, you'll know that I needed a cell a bit smaller. Well, this cell is almost now down to what it would have been if I'd have reefed it from there down to there. That's what I've cut off all the rotten along the bottom. You can see now where I've sewn it on and joined it, and along here. Yeah, you can see where I've joined it all the way along. And on the cell cloth itself, it's in pretty good condition. It's just that it's um, got a few stains on it where it was up against old metal tongs that was in the cell. Anyway, there you go. That's how to make a cell. For, as you can see, it's only a seven foot boom. And there's no way I'm going to get another cell for that. But uh, anybody got one? It's seven foot four by 20 foot four, 20 foot three give or take. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, I got a tidy the workshop up now and then got another project to get on with. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Get all farts out for now.